Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Now, I don't know what I expected to happen there, that <laughs> when I pressed shift, I should have known I was going to fall off the horse, but that's okay. Now, what we are doing today is we are... Can I get the horse's butt in it? No. <laughs> what we are going to be doing today, there we go, is we are going to be carrying on with the library, but there's some stuff that's happened there. Now, the, the fire you're hearing in the background isn't the library, don't worry. It is the... Oh, well, that is... <laughs> Um, okay, so what you're hearing is a fire in the blacksmith. Don't be alarmed. Now, the library, as I say, we started with the tower in the last episode, and we got majority of the way through the outside of the tower. I decided to continue a bit, and I made a few tweaks. Now, before we look at what my character is looking at right now, I want to quickly say that the reason I've done what I've done for some of it, which you'll know, you'll soon realise what it is, is because I feel like our base is kind of looking a bit... It, it looks a bit dull. It will start looking more and more dull the more buildings we put up. So I think we better off getting a few colors into these builds now because I, I do like the kind of realistic look of the builds and I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. But I think overall we're going to have to start getting color in it. We're going to have to make things look a little bit more vibrant. So have a look at this. Now I'll quickly explain what I've done. So you can see I've put some spruce doors there. That is not the half of it. So I pushed in the bottom, changed up some put some cobblestone in there, and finished off the top there. And I, I think that looks really, really, really good myself. I do. Let me know what you guys think, because as per usual, I would love to know what you guys think. And you guys have always got such great input, so I would like to know what <laughs> what's going on. And generally, it's something like small that will change everything. So let me know what you think I can change. And in particular, there's an area around there. You can see where the cobblestone looks really, really flat. And I would like to put something else in there. So if you guys have got any suggestions, leave them down in the comments because I really like suggestions. And over here, we may as well explain what I've done with these uh, windows. So those two windows, and there's another one on the other side. I decided we should get a bit of color in. And that's also another area where you guys might be able to help me here. Uh, the reason I wanted to do the windows, and in this particular design doesn't have to be, it's just kind of the way it became. Uh, the reason I wanted to do the windows is purely because we are getting really dull in the base and I thought it would freshen things up a little bit, so that's my reasoning. And the reason they're the colours they are, you can see that's the creeper colours, the enderman colours, and on this side, we've got the zombie, the uh, skeleton colours. And you may be saying, what happened to the zombie ones? I've got a plan for the zombie ones, because... They, they are a, a lesser mob in my mind because they are generally annoying and they just everywhere, but they're not really as strong as the others. So, well, as uh, butt kicking as the others. So that's what it looks like right now. I think we can quickly go sleep. So I'll go run in, <laughs> run to here. By the way, I've gotten exceptionally lazy. So the horse is my transport from here to there and back again. That's just what I do. <laughs> uh, it's late enough. So we'll, we'll sleep this off now and I want to show you what I've been looking at because a few episodes ago, you, you may remember, I did a bit of a shaders thing <laughs> and I do enjoy just looking at things with shaders because shaders are really great. They, they make your build look a little bit more realistic and overall I enjoy just to see and I'm sure a lot of you guys just enjoy just seeing. Um, we're not going to play in shaders right now because, I mean, A, it would be absolutely killing you on my computer and the other thing would be that it's i don't know i don't know let me know if you guys want me to do an episode or something in shaders i'm sure that can be arranged so maybe we can do something like that so there's a comment section down below not below my horse but down below and leave it down there if you guys do want and i've just realized i've got a normal slab in there and i've got a stone brick slab on the other side i think so we're gonna have to fix that so let's switch to shaders and bear in mind Shaders make things look a lot nicer than they do, so when someone uses shaders, be warned that they probably trying to hide things which don't look too good. So, I'm not trying to do that, I just want to show you guys what's going on. So, switch to shaders now. And here's shaders. So, what we are using, by the way, is Sildur's Vibrant Shaders Extreme. So, I think the extreme is for how tolling it is on your computer or your graphics card. So, we, I'm pretty sure we're using the best what the like hardest version that you get there uh this area looks really great i love i love the water that's probably my most favorite part of shaders is just 
the water and you can see the sun on the water. It's I, I enjoy shaders. I really do. So let's have a look around here at what everything looks like. I think that's looking really great. Uh, you know, the, the trick I found to improving my building, which I really needed to, and I, I think it's... I, I personally feel like it's improved quite a bit, is... Oh, by the way, I just tested out. These trees can grow in sunflower plains 100%. That over there I thought was plains. That's sunflower plains. So, whoa. <laughs> uh, I, I replied to your comments a few episodes ago saying that I grew some trees in the plains. And it was over there, but it was actually sunflower plains. So they do grow in sunflower plains. It's not this biome that'll stop them. It was just the area. So that that's a little bit of news for you guys. Now, this over here, I don't know. I feel like just adding extra Extra textures obviously makes a bit of a difference, but the, the sizing of blocks, so stairs and changing everything around has made my building improve, I feel. So that's what it's looking like. I'm really battled to get an idea of what we could do for the rest of the build because I felt like this tower was really a, almost a standalone thing. It, it looked really good if you if I, <laughs> if I had to say so myself. So uh, I've kind of felt like it could just be a tower, but I don't think we're going to do just a tower. We wanted a library. We're going to have a library. So... In here, I have added a few other things. You can see there's what's going to be a bit of a lighting. I don't know if we're going to put a chandelier or just some basic lighting or who knows what over there. That's just ready to go over here. Now, this is the explanation part. Going down these stairs, I want to have... I don't know where I'm going to have it. Maybe over here. I want there to be kind of a, a lookout area with books and books on either side. And then the enchanted table in the middle. And then, I don't know. The colors aren't here to stay, so... Don't, don't worry. <laughs> They're not there. They're just there for tests. So when we go down here, well, I'll explain what's going on. And I've missed my jump. Uh, and yeah. Now we've got our enchanting table and I wanted this area to look a bit open and I wanted to add some redstone stuff just because I mean, hey, it's fun to put redstone stuff in. Who doesn't like putting some redstone stuff in? <laughs> Giving it a try. So when we come up here, I want to put a pressure plate on top of there. And as we walk up, all of these, which, by the way, these granite, polished granite blocks are going to be bookshelves. So when they all bookshelves, they all pop up. We do our enchantment. Done. Walk away. They all go away. And the area looks nice and open again. And it really was just for the sake of getting redstone in because I wanted to put some redstone in somewhere. So that's what I've done there. Now, uh, I was like, why is it not going back? Because it's on a, a lever at the moment, not on a pressure plate. So that's the current thing. We're also building into the ground, which I'm sure you guys are very smart and notice that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm still going to have it coming out, but I want the walls and stuff to be in the ground. So it's kind of a challenge. I don't know. It's it's something I've never done. So I'd like to try it. And that's what we're going to do this episode. So I'll come back once I've done a few improvements to this. I don't have anything spectacular <laughs> that I've got in mind just yet. So everything that we pull together will be completely just made up on the spot. So, and it, it seemed to have worked for that. So let's see what we can do with this. All right, now here is something, <laughs> if that's loud, I apologize. Here is something which I wish was in vanilla Minecraft, which is in modded. Well, there's a mod that allows us to do this. And what it allows you to do, for those of you that might not play modded, is whatever blocks you make the bookshelves out of, so whatever wood you use, you get a, a wood texture like that, and I'm fairly certain it's Bibliocraft before. I may be wrong. Correct me, because I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was Bibliocraft. I mean, they do, do all the books, and yeah, this is something which I kind of think makes bookshelves really annoying, really, actually. So that's just a, a little thing I wanted to come in with, and I wanted to show you what's going on here. Now, I can't really do as much stuff over here as I wanted to. Uh, because you can see, we need to put a block over there so that you can't see anything in there. And I've placed stairs, but you can still see through. So, that seems to be the only way. And you never know, they might, I might come up with something else. But currently, that is the idea. We're just shaping right now. There's not actually any colors or anything being used. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we do with uh, textures and colors and all that later. I'm just kind of getting the basic idea right now. Alright, guys, this is sometime a bit later, and I've gone through a few different designs. I've had a look at a few different things that I wanted to give a go, and really, they were all pretty much massive fails. <laughs> they were, yeah, big waste of time.
But, you know, that's the thing. You gotta, gotta try a lot of things. You gotta experiment, and they generally fail. But you eventually get something that looks half decent. And I think, I mean, ignore the colors, ignore everything. But I think even the stairs here, yeah, these are just slabs just for testing. Uh, I think it works. I think this shape will do quite well. And bear in mind, I'm trying to build a box and then work off that. So uh, what we're going to have here is we're going to come in from these doors, obviously. We're going to walk down here. I might even change this up. We'll go around one side here. If we wanted to go enchant, we can come down and bam, everything's there for us. We can do our things. Carry on. Those aren't going to be there. That's just probably going to... Those are actually probably going to be bookshelves, I'm guessing. I want to put a window in there. Maybe there. We can see how we go. I want it just in general. I don't want everything to be closed in, but I don't want two big windows. I want it to look like a... Like what I would imagine an older library is. And we'll probably put some fence here. We'll also raise that maybe with some, some, st uh, some stone bricks like that. Put some fences there. Who knows? Who knows? Over here is going to be a mini tower like this, because I really like this tower. And I thought, hey, you know, we could have two little mini towers, like there and there. And then we'll have the roof going through the middle there. And that'll probably be... I know it might look a bit weird, so I'm going to gonna test out this one. But we're going to try a normal pitched roof there. And I don't know how it'll turn out, but I think it's worth a try. So we'll do the pitched roof there. If it doesn't work, we might try... One similar to that, so I don't know how to explain, kind of like an upside down that, even though that's also would probably be a picture. But yeah, that if you get what I'm saying, kind of like that roof, but straight. And over here, we're going to probably get these towers up to about that height there. I think it'll look good. So that's a bit of a progress update. And let's see how far we can get in the next one. All right. So as the sun goes down, I thought I would come for another update. So here it is. This is... How the tower is going to be pretty much laid out. I'll go back a bit so you can see the height difference. It's not as much as I had hoped, but any shorter and it would just look really stumpy. Which it already almost is. Uh, I've got to go change on that side there. You can see all of those walls there. They're actually connected and it, it really made the roof look really silly. So what I've done is I've... Just heard a zombie. Uh, what I've done is I have changed the walls from the inside, I've taken them away, and made it look a little bit nicer. So that's that's currently what's happening. Now, what I think we'll do is we'll get going on the next one. We're not going to do the windows and stuff just yet. I haven't made up my mind on what we're going to do there, so that that's pretty much the reason why. I've also got to add in some of the uh, fences on the corners there. Have I done them already? Okay, maybe we could have a look at changing those up to dark oak fences or something just to get a bit more contrast on there because I can't even see them there right now. I can see them there, can't see them there. So that's something we could do, but I think we should get going on that one and we haven't had any music this episode. So how about we put on a time lapse now and see how that goes.
Alrighty, Roo, guys, we are back, and I may have gotten a little bit, a little bit crazier than I wanted to originally. So there, you guys saw me finishing off the tower, but what you didn't see me do is the rest of the stuff there. Now, I don't know if I'm 100% in love with it, but I do kind of like it. Uh, it does kind of grow on you these extra little bits on the side, and I'll quickly go inside and explain what's going on now. I've also done all of this stuff outside of just testing out. Let me know what you think. Let me know how I can make this look a little bit nicer. I'm just kind of trying a few new things. Shut up. Shut up, cows. Shut up, chickens. Uh, yeah. So that that's something that's happened. I've also kind of removed blocks and done all those sorts of things. And around here, there should be a way to get up. Actually, we'll, we'll go inside first. Uh, so, yeah. I kind of worked out a way to climb up on the vines and stuff. Also, let me know what you think about this. I've just edged the grass with some of those to make it kind of look like it's a bit more city-like, you know? And around here as well with uh, the sand in here. I also went to the desert, gathered up a bunch of sand. And we've got a lot of glass now, obviously, with those there. I had to get a bunch of glass. And, in general, we're just going to fill up that with sand. I think it looks a little bit nicer than the dirt and the grass. And in here, this is this has happened. I've just gone a little bit crazy with the paintings. Made it look a little bit nicer. In here, uh, I kind of went with the spruce. Because, I mean, hey. Some sandstone in there. And up here, this is the first tower. So, let's, let's start with the middle tower, right? So, I've tried to get two main colors from each mob in the game more or less each mob in the game and the two colors i've got so guess that one uh that one there obviously is a skeleton zombie and an enderman and there's a reason why this one's in the front because i respect that mob um <laughs> now that those are like your kind of main overworldy type mobs and I'm, I'm still trying to get a few more bookcases to fill up these and make this look like it's a uh, inside of a library now, that one there is also a mob, not a creeper. Uh, that one there, guess, that one there, you can guess. That one there is actually a witch that I tried to do. So, I tried to get the black and the purple, which is exactly the same as Enderman, but, I mean, I couldn't think of any other colors that were mainly, like, witchy that I could do in, uh, in the glass. And this side, I kind of think, is the nether side. So, we've got ourselves, our ghasts, our... with the skeletons, which, that is actually, uh... That's dark grey stained um, stained glass, so it didn't turn out the way I really wanted, but that's okay. Uh, blazes and pigmen. Zombie pigmen. I thought that would, would have been a bunch of fun. This over here... Yeah, that works. <laughs> I, I really like it. Like, when you look around like this, it's just bookcases everywhere. It looks like it's meant to be there. Do our enchanting. Go somewhere. Don't have to worry about anything. Now... The roof here, quickly, before we go over there. This roof, I kind of feel looks a bit awkward, and... I don't know, I tried a dome thing a bit earlier. It didn't really plan out the way I wanted, but, I mean, hey. I guess we'll we'll figure out something. We'll figure it out. And down here. That's very annoying. We've obviously got our secret passageway to our spider farm. And that's the way that's going to go. We're going to have to make this look a bit nice, but I haven't, I haven't had a chance to get to that. I've done a fair bit, actually, around here. Might not look at... Maybe it will. I don't know. I've, I've kind of just stared at it for too long to know what it looks like. Uh, so, yeah, I've done that. And I don't know. Let me know what you think. Because I'm pretty much... I, I really like the way it looks. I'm, it's growing on me more and more. But one thing I do want to try as well is maybe to try change out some of the, the wood on the roof and a bit more of the spruce wood. Maybe go for a bit of oak. Uh, just because we've got oak in there, we've got oak in there, we don't have any oak on this build. And I kind of want the village to tie in with each other. And aside from that, this just looks a bit... A bit more different to those. <laughs> it doesn't... Yeah, it's, it's not exactly the same. So, I'd like it to kind of tie in as one sort of uh, big build. Now, this is something I want to do, and I've tested this out, it seems to work, and I don't have a, oh, I do, I've got dirt, I thought I didn't have dirt on me, I'd rather take dirt, is that over the loop, yeah, okay, now, remember we had all these spots up here, now, I'm not too sure about these, but what I want to try with these is because, 
Mobs can't spawn on pressure plates right now. You can see I've put some around here. I've put some. You can see. And um, what that's going to do is it's going to stop mobs from spawning on at least these blocks around here. And on these roof ones, I want to see if you can see them from the bottom. Uh, it might not make any difference at all if we put those there. Maybe it might even look kind of cool. <laughs> Who knows? So I'll put these here just for testing purposes. If not, we can always use the wooden ones. And if we do end up changing this over to a an oak roof, that could also maybe work very well because you wouldn't even see the pressure plate. Now, let's go down. That's not a shovel, that's a bucket. And that hurt. Thank you. And I can get down here like this and all safely as well. Uh, so, let's quickly have a look at what that looks like. Eat, eat, come on. And I hope we don't see the pressure plates because that would be really great. Yeah, you kind of can. I probably will have to figure something else out there, but I think that'll be that'll be all right. That'll be all right. So let's uh, let's cut the episode here. I think we've pretty much done what we wanted to do. It's been a lot of time that I've spent on this, so I'm kind of uh, glad we've got it looking looking a lot better than what I had it in in those times in between. Wow. It, I had some terrible ideas, but I think it's come along. I think it's getting there. We'll probably do a few more changes. I don't want to um, change the outside too much. Maybe, like, I mean, in general building. Whoa, what just happened there? Uh, but, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. As per usual, if you did enjoy it, leave a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what's going on. But, yeah, thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.